let's get into this review. Bonjour, Mes Me, and bienvenue to a new product review. C'est moi, Jessie, your resident Francophile, and here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. See who play, take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta, follow my blog, my website, which has um, everything, like shop my looks, thrifting, and consignment guides, and there'll be e-courses soon. So let's get into this bag review. I have had this bag since about 2016 or so. It was the, what am I doing? What bag am I referring to? Let me get it. I have had this bag since about 2016. I will insert the correct year if I am in fact wrong. I fell in love with this bag the moment I saw it. This was not the bag I intended to buy. I went out, and when I say out, I mean online. I went online searching for a grand shopping tote. So the Chanel grand shopping tote is shorter than this bag, but I'm going to tell you why I was looking for that and not this. Truly, I didn't know this existed, so full disclosure with that. I was looking for the grand shopping tote, and in 2016, I don't know um, if that was around the time when the shopping totes were discontinued, whether people knew they were about to be discontinued. I don't know what was going on, but it was so hard to find the shopping tote in the color and leather that I wanted. I wanted black. As you can see, I'm very partial <laughs> to the hue. And I also wanted caviar leather, and I'm well into this review. I will share why I prefer caviar leather as opposed to lambskin um, with Chanel or really any Luxury. leather goods. I wanted the Grand Shopping Tote because it is wide. What this bag makes up for in height, it lacks in width. The Grand Shopping Tote is much wider than this, and um, that's what I needed at the time. So I purchased this bag to be essentially a work bag. This was um, during the time when I was going to an office, and I wanted a bag that I could carry it all. I have an LV Neverfull, but I wanted a black bag because, again, I am typically in a lot of black. I don't carry multiple bags, so I didn't want to have like a laptop bag, a bag for my lunch, a bag for this. I really wanted something that would harm my posture and my back. So <laughs> the bigger, the better. I wanted to pile it all in. With this bag, I was able to carry a laptop. I started leaving my LV agenda. I have a review on that as well. And a few other things I started leaving in the office or at home because it wasn't enough space here. But I was able to fit my Kiragami. No, at the time I was using a toiletry pouch. I was able to fit my toiletry pouch, 26, my laptop, and a liter of water or so because again, it's not too wide. But if you want, you can kind of pack it where it gives a little, but I really didn't want to stretch it. So in a sense, this did help me from overpacking, which I have the tendency to do. Again, I did not know this bag existed, but when I found it, the price was good relatively in 2016 to say this bag was $1,500. If you're not a luxury person, which I'm sure you are, if you're watching this video, you would know that that is an amazing price for a Chanel. I think right now, the wallets are about 16. So this was about 16. And if I'm wrong with the price, I'll insert the correction um, below. And um, to me, that was a steal. I also had a coupon code at the time, so I did not think twice. I got this bag, again, fell in love. However, this is not how this bag came. This bag, I started researching, does come with two different options, but this is not the option that I had. When I purchased this bag, and I'll insert purchase, um, I'll insert photos of how this bag really looked. Having our leather straps, and I'll insert photos so you all can see how it looks. If you are a vintage mezzanine, you would have read the blog post, and I shared it all over on Insta when I had this bag refurbished. Handles that came with this bag, they were caviar leather, but because I am so hard on my bags, again, which is why I prefer caviar leather. And if you don't know what caviar leather is, it is the pebble texture. If you can see, it's raised versus the lamb skin is very sleek and clean. And I will try to insert like side by side photos here. I'm partial to caviar leather because I am not gentle with my bags at all. 
I wear my bags. I also do not buy bags with the intentions of reselling them. So when I get them, I use them. And you're going to find out how I abuse this bag, which led to me needing to get it um, restored. The caviar leather straps that came with it, because I was packing it to capacity initially, the straps started pulling and I'll again insert photos, links and all to the original bag. Cracking and cracking to the point where when I would wear it, it would leave leather bits on whatever it was that I was wearing and that's just never a good idea. Oh, side note, these are Chanel AirPod holders. I will um, link them below and I'll link these bags and the shop shopping totes. I absolutely love this. It's so unnecessary. It's so gaudy. So of course I needed it. Maybe I should put these in. The final, like when this bag just like decided to give up on me and my wild ways is when I was in South Africa, went on a safari and I had a bottle of champagne in the caravan. As I was going to pop the bottle of champagne, this bag fell overboard. As it was falling, I had two choices to make. I could save the bottle of champagne or let this bag touch the ground of the motherland. Needless to say, I saved my bottle of champagne. If you have ever traveled or lived in South Africa, as I did, you know that French, like actual champagne, not cava, prosecco, actual champagne is so expensive in South Africa because again, it's imported. So I saved my bottle of champagne and this went overboard. I, I do not regret my decision. If any of my bags had to touch the ground, it would be that of the motherland. And I, I have no regrets for my decision. Not only did I damage the straps from carrying so much, I bruised so much of the exterior. I didn't I get a lot of the scratches and scrapes repaired on the front because I'm going to do it again. That's how I am. I have carried this bag on tiny, tiny jets, like heading to Cuba, small aircrafts, heading from Paris to Antibes, just all over the place. And I, this bag has a story. <laughs> So I focused on getting the straps replaced. Again, this bag does come with gold straps. There's two different options. Here's There's the option that I initially had with the the R leather straps, or you could buy the one with the chain. Once I found this bag, I wanted the one with the chains, but that was so hard to find. To me, this is like a clear indicator of Chanel. If it's not the quilt, it's the gold chains or just the chains, whether it's, you know, silver, depending on what you're into, but I love gold. I got the straps replaced and I also got the lining redone. The inside of this bag was completely destroyed. The leather had been peeling and ripped because on a flight to, I feel like I was heading to Helsinki or somewhere, I had to stuff my stilettos in the bag and it tore the lining. So this bag needs to sign a non-disclosure because it, it, it could tell some stories. <laughs> But I absolutely love it. Is it, this bag worth it? That is one of the questions that I will never answer. If you have been a Mazami for some time or if you have ever watched any of my reviews, I stare clear of telling people what's worth it or not because we all put different value on different things. For moi, this bag was worth it. It I, is. I'm into, as you can see, I'm into these things. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. You can get a leather tote bag from anywhere. A bit of unsolicited advice that I always give because again, as you saw in my intro, finance is a huge component of this platform that I am building with cappuccinos and consignment. When I purchased this bag and something that I still do today, I double the price. What does that mean, you ask? Let's say this bag was $1,500. I would save $3,000. I would put $1,500 into my savings account and then I would purchase this. Oh, I share you. this tip because wow, it's so much in my life with staying financially savvy, staying out of debt and continuing to grow my investments and my savings. So if that helps you, let me know in the comments below. I do appreciate it. I um, I have mezzanine from every walk of life, 18 year olds who are just starting their credit journey to 84 year old women who tell me, I wish I had did those things in my youth because now I'm still paying off debt. That is never in vogue, mezzanine.
certain debts are, but we could talk about that another time. But going into debt for designer goods, that is not something that I preach. That is not something that I support. So be smart, Mezzanine, with your finances. Moving along. <laughs> I really have enjoyed this bag and I, um, I still, I've considered buying this bag again because this bag was replaced this isn't the same size links or chains on the chanel bag that was meant to have this so i've considered it but it's not something that i'm like constantly searching for like if i stumble upon it and it's a good price which i'm sure it won't be at this point because everything chanel is just ridiculous all of these luxury goods are ridiculous you all let me know what you feel like these price increases are just ridiculous like i'm so glad that I purchased a lot of my pieces back then because now I feel like I'm priced out of everything. Like, that's crazy, but let me know what you all think. All in all, I am totally satisfied with this bag. I love it. But I will Where give I you advice. If you want to go to a local cobbler in your neighborhood, look at the reviews. Look at the reviews. Find somewhere that specializes in luxury goods. And in my opinion, it is nicer to have a cobbler that's local because you can go in and check on your bag. You can give your input. You can, I, I like personable aspects of doing things locally. But um, we, this is it. Again, I do hope that this review helped you. I don't even think it's a review. It's just me rambling on about how I feel. Perhaps I should stop calling these reviews because it's just my take on the bag. I don't tell you if you should buy it or not. <laughs> But I love it. So if you are looking for this bag, I am going to link some options below. And if you're thinking about doing it, just do it. Don't think twice because they are so hard to find. So I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. I appreciate you all so much. So until the next vlog, which will be on Tuesday, I do weekly vlogs if you're into that kind of thing. I will see you all soon. Alrighty, ciao for now.